In this third example, we're going to set up a word problem with a system of equations. Just to remind you, first we identify our unknowns, then we write variables for the unknowns using letters that make sense, and then using the information we write two equations. We then solve the system of equations, but we're not going to show you that in this video. We're just going to set it up. So let's take a look at an example. A shipment of TV sets, some weighing 30 kilograms, each and the others weighing 50 kilograms each has a total weight of 880 kilograms. If there are 20 TV sets all together, how many weigh 50 kilograms? This is kind of a tricky problem. Um, but first, let's take a look at the unknowns before we go to write the equations. So we've got 30 kilogram sets, 50 kilogram sets. We know that there's 20 of them all together. I think it's pretty clear that our variables are going to be the number of 30 kilogram sets and the number of 50 kilogram sets. Now, step two is to pick variables, but there really isn't anything that's jumping out for a variable. For example, S, S would be terrible because they're both talking about sets or T for TV. However, what I would say, this is 30. The word here is 30, and the word here is 50. So when I'm picking my variables, I may choose to use T to represent the number of 30 kilogram sets, and F to represent 50 kilogram sets. So now that I've picked my variables, I'm ready to write the equations. It says that there's a total weight of 880 kilograms, so I'm going to have something equals 880. But what will that thing be? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of math off to the side. Let me just move the paper up. What would one 30 kilogram set cost? 30 kilograms. What would two 30 kilogram sets cost? 60 kilograms. What would three 30 kilogram sets cost? 90 kilograms. Now remember, how many 30 kilogram sets do we have? We have T. So using this pattern, how many would T 30 kilogram sets cost? You'd use the same pattern. Now how do we write T times 30 in algebra? 30T. This is the weight of T 30 kilogram TV sets. So the second statement, the total weight of the two kinds of television sets is 880. So this is going to be an addition problem. 30T is the total weight, not the total weight, the weight of all the 30 kilogram sets. 30T. And using the same logic, the 50 kilogram sets would be 50F. 50, 50 times the number of 50 kilogram sets, in this case, is F. So that's our first equation. Our second equation is there are 20 TV sets all together. All together again means sum. So the number of 30 kilogram sets plus the number of 50 kilogram sets is going to be 20 sets. So this system can be solved. And you could use a variety of methods to solve it. Maybe you might want to even use substitution, solving for t. t would equal 20 minus f. You can plug that back in. But if you want to jump ahead to the answer, how many weigh 50 kilograms? There are 14 sets that weigh 50 kilograms. That's the final answer.